development from egg to caterpillar to pupa to butterfly is observable and repeatable, just like science likes. Most scientists say that butterflies evolved some 150 million years ago into 220,000 species, and the monarch being just one of those. This remarkable butterfly, this monarch butterfly, demonstrates against all odds how it survives and thrives to this very day. After it emerges from the pupa, it soon takes flight after waiting just the right amount of time for its wings to properly dry and reach its full extension. Its bright red and black striped coloring keeps the onlooking birds, as the natural world knows, brightly colored creatures are not as tasty, and so it keeps them from eating them. Although as a caterpillar, it will only eat milkweed plants, in its butterfly state, however, its choice of flowers varies greatly. It will feed on up to 17 different flowers. As the temperature drops from week to week, the monarch soon decides to fly south to avoid the cold. Now, this butterfly can only travel at a few miles per hour. It knows that by going southward, the temperature will get warmer. Uh, you've probably heard about its upcoming 3,000-mile flight. But did you know that biologists have recently found inside the monarch's brain a pair of tiny molecules that detects the Earth's magnetic field and directs the butterfly like a compass? It's thought that its genetic makeup is able to teach each butterfly generation which part of the three- to four-leg trip it needs to take while using that Earth's magnetic field as a guide. So this, this route, south and then back north again, takes up to four generations to complete. When its southward flight is complete, you will typically find it wintering in the same location or even on the same tree that a previous generation used. Now, to lay eggs on these pine or eucalyptus trees may seem like a good idea after its 3,000-mile journey has tired them out. But doing so is going to cause certain death to the caterpillars because they can only eat milkweed plants. So, following its wintering in places like Mexico and Southern California, the monarch butterfly starts north again and it feeds on an assortment of flowers to gain its strength for the journey. Before this generation passes, though, the female butterflies know to lay their eggs only on milkweed plants. The egg is attached to the bottom of the leaf with a quick-drying glue that's secreted by the butterfly only to the bottom side of the egg. This keeps the egg attached to the leaf, but it doesn't dry out the entire egg, allowing it to still release the caterpillar when the time comes. As you've probably heard, this remarkable butterfly has more than survived, but it's actually thrived over the years. If today this butterfly somehow chose a variety of plants on which to lay its eggs, the monarch population would quickly become extinct. However, if the eggs were placed on the top side of the milkweed plant, it would cause it not to be able to stick properly and the resulting generation would be lost. If the Earth's magnetic field were not fully developed, these creatures would likely have little sense of direction. Only slight changes in the egg, caterpillar, pupa, and butterfly over 150 million years cause what we see today. So say scientists. My friend, does that sound reasonable? Many scientists will say that this butterfly was given enough time through minor changes in natural selection to increase its intelligence and complexity to become what you see today. Or could it be possible that a creator with infinite understanding and wisdom was involved? You be the judge.